Welcome students. Today we will solve fourth problem on projectile motion. So let us start today's lecture. So we are given one statement over here. Let us read that statement first. A motorcyclist wants to jump over a ditch as shown in the figure. Find the necessary minimum velocity at A in kilometer per hour of the motorcycle. Also find the inclination and the magnitude of the velocity of the motorcycle just after clearing the ditch. So we are given this situation, we are given one motorcyclist and uh, he wants to jump over this ditch from point A to point B. And we are asked to find the necessary minimum velocity at A for the motorcycle that is Vx which will help the motorcyclist to jump the ditch. And next we have to find the inclination and the magnitude of the velocity of the motorcycle just after clearing the ditch means at point B. So the motion of the motorcyclist from point A to point B will be considered as a projectile motion. And we know whenever we are dealing with a projectile motion, we have to talk about two types of motion, one along horizontal and one long vertical. And we know the horizontal motion of a projectile is a uniform motion. It is without the effect of acceleration due to gravity. And the vertical motion of the projectile is uniformly accelerated motion. So let us consider both the motions one by one. Let us start with the first motion that is horizontal motion of the projectile. So in this case, it is a motorcyclist. And we know horizontal motion of motorcyclist is a uniform motion. It means only one equation is applicable. That is x is equal to x0 plus vxt. Where x is the distance covered by the motorcyclist, which is a horizontal distance from point A to point B and which is mentioned to us as 4 meters. And x0 is the initial distance which is 0 over here. And vx is the velocity of the projectile in x direction. T is the time taken by the projectile to cover the distance from A to B that is the horizontal distance of 4 meters. So let us put the values. We will get 4 equal to 0 plus vxt. So from here we will get vx as 4 divided by t. In this equation we have two unknowns vx and t. So let us consider this equation as equation number 1. Now we will consider vertical motion of the projectile. So that is a vertical motion of motorcyclist and it is a uniformly accelerated motion. And we know for this motion three equations are applicable. Those are v is equal to u plus at, s is equal to ut plus half at square v square minus u square is equal to 2as. Now let us see which equation we can use over here in order to get the unknowns. And we know in the first equation v represents the final velocity of the projectile in y direction that is not known to us. So it means we cannot use this equation. Same situation is there in the last equation because we have final velocity of the projectile in y direction that is vy and it is not unknown to us. So we cannot use this equation as, as well. So that means we will use the second equation that is s is equal to ut plus half at square. Now in this case s is the distance traveled by the projectile from point a to b in y direction and that is 2 meters mentioned over here. And u is vy0 which is the initial distance of the projectile in y direction and that is 0 over here because motorcyclist was traveling along x direction only. A over here is the acceleration due to gravity that is 9.81 and T is the time taken by the projectile for the motion A to B. So let us put these values. So we have replaced S by Y over here that is equal to 2 meters and uh, this is further reduced to 2 equal to 0 plus half into 9.81 into T square. So from here we will get the value of T as 0 0.64 seconds. Now we know the value of t, it means we can find our first answer that is the necessary minimum velocity at A of the motorcycle. So we will say put the value of t in equation 1 and we will get vx as 4 divided by 0 0.64 that will be equal to 6.25 meter per second. 
but we have to answer this in kilometer per hour so we will convert this value into kilometer per hour so our answer will be 22.5 kilometer per hour now in the next part of this problem we are asked to find the inclination and the magnitude of the velocity of the motorcycle just after clearing the ditch so it means we have to find v over here so we have shown the velocity vector tangent to the projectile motion at point b we have to find the magnitude of this v and we know in order to get the magnitude of this v we have to first resolve this into its components so one component will be along x direction we will label that as vx another component will be along y direction we will label that as vy as the direction of this velocity is towards point b so direction of these two components will also be towards point b now we know the value of vx because we have already calculated in the previous step it is 6.25 meter per second but now we have to calculate the value of vy which is the final velocity of the projectile in y direction now how we can calculate this we can use the formula of v is equal to u plus at where v is the final velocity of the projectile in y direction vy which we have to find u is the initial velocity of the projectile in y direction and that we know it is zero because motorcyclist was traveling in x direction only and g is 9.81 and t we have already calculated as 0.64 seconds so we will get vy as 0 plus 9.81 into 0 0.64 so this will be equal to 6.27 meter per second now we know the values of vx and vy and over here we will apply the formula of parallelogram law of forces to find the magnitude of v and that formula will be equal to vx square plus vy square under root Put the values of these two in this formula so that will be equal to 6.25 square plus 6.27 square under root so from here we will get the magnitude of the velocity of the motorcycle after clearing the ditch that is at point b is equal to 143.3 meter per second now we have to find its inclination also so let us consider its angle with the vertical component as phi and we will say tan phi tan phi will be equal to perpendicular upon base so perpendicular over here is vx that is 6.25 and base is vy that is 6.27 so tan phi will be equal to 6.25 divided by 6.27 it will be equal to 0.9968 so we'll take the tan inverse of this value we will get value of phi as 44.9 degrees so we have found the inclination of the velocity as well and it is with the vertical component. I hope this answer is clear to you. Thank you very much.